Whoa! Hello again, YouTube. Ninja Hero 361 is back. Today, uh, today marks the uh, third day of December. And as we all know, this is the time of the year where things are coming down to the wire. College, work, and uh, work, I don't know. Anyway, I am excited. I cannot wait for the winter holidays. Well, one, one, I get the rest of them, I get the whole entire rest of the month until after finals to play games and be myself. And two, it's after, it's the day, it's the vacation after finals. <laughs> so today I'm going to be talking about some of the game, some of the P PlayStation 2 games I have, which are good, which, which are awesome, which are good, and which are bad. I don't think I, I don't think I really have any any games that suck unless you count uh, unless you count my the uh, Spyro into the Dragonfly game for GameCube. Now that one was bad. I mean, really bad. And uh, hold on a second. Everybody, say hello to Maggie. She is a really fat cat, and Maggie. <laughs> 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 For some reason, she likes to attack me. I don't know why. But anyway, if you hear, if all of a sudden you hear any uh, dum 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 dum, that's gonna be her pawing against the door. And if any of you are oldie or uh, old eighties cartoon fanatics, you'll recognize that little remark from the old Dark Waters cartoon. I don't think they I don't think they ever I don't think they ever really I think if I remember correctly it ended on a massive cliffhanger, just like Mega Man Legends 2. But anyway, back to the games. Now I think the perfect example for right now would be the Mega Man X games. One second. Here. fire-breathing dragon and here we go okay Capcom's first attempt at a at a legitimate Mega Man X game for PS2 began with Mega Man X 7 and when I first got this <laughs> when I first got this I thought this is going to be epic not so. The whole entire games, the whole entire combat system in this game is horrendous. Good game, good game, good. In 
It also makes a good introduction for the newest Mega Man character, Axel. But just everything about it is bad. The gra now, when you think PS2 and Capcom, you're gonna think awesome. You're gonna think awesome graphics. Um, near realistic. Well, actually, I think that goes with the PS3. But still. Instead, you're getting... But instead, you're getting uh, kind of blocky-looking characters. At, and they, as they move, it, it looks like they're just moving forward. And, they're, and every step they take, they look like they're sliding forward. And then there's, let's see, what else? Um, the, the, the boss battles. Normal, now in previous game, the previous Mega Man X games, we've all known that all the, that the previous games were all 2D, two dimension, and so were the boss battles. In he in X7, it's all in a uh, big arena. One of the boss battles, I can't remember his name, uh, uh, was some kind of ant eater looking guy, and his fighting stage was just standing on a on a blue on a glowing blue tube. While, whereas you could only go halfway around, he can go all the way around. That, I don't get. And, let's see. Then, let's see, then there was the weapons. Now, some of the weapons were good, some were not. And then, there is Sigma, the, oblig the obligatory signature final boss of every Mega Man X game. Excluding Mega Man Extreme and Extreme 2 for the Game Boy. It is bad. I can't, I can't even think of any words to describe how bad that boss battle is. The only, and he is massive. You are on several little floating rock, floating rocks of debris, and he transports all the way to the opposite end of the area, wherever it is, and it's just. It's just bad. Including the targeting system. Oh, man. Anyway, uh, Mega Man X. Still somewhat of a good game, and if you're into game collecting like I am, I uh, try to get. Like if, like if a game series comes out and there's a 1, then there's a 2 and 3, I'm gonna. I'm going to try and get all three of them so I can get them in order. And yeah, if you can tell I'm kind of sniffling my sinuses and all. Sorry. And now, Capcom finally stepped it up with Mega Man X8. This is how Mega Man X7 should have been. Every X, well, pretty much only X has gotten a mate has gotten a uh, a little re has gotten a little redesign and has little redesigning and oh, just a second let me adjust the camera Let's see good anyway Mega Man X is how like I said X8 should have been how X7 should have been. 
X8 is how X7 should have been. Should have been. Uh, okay. You got this little thing flashing on on my screen right here. Uh, okay, never mind. Anyway, X8, everything is revamped. Graphics are amazing. The weapons are far better, including the new, including the new armor, the neutral, the neutral Icarus, and let's see what was the what was the other one? Okay, neutral Hermes. I think it was Icarus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Icarus, Icarus armor. I think. Whatever, I can check it. I can check later. Anyway, the mute. Everything is. It's all two. The stages are all in two D, but the graphics are in three D. And everybody has revamped moves. The problems that X Eight had. The, I mean that X7 had are non-existent. Plus the music, the music is awesome, even for the regular boss battles. The story. Now, as this as the story in the game goes, this is pr this is pretty much Capcom. This is pretty much like the like Sigma's last hurrah. As he is, as his trashed head is smashed by the guy, by the guy you're trying to save, Lumine, who turns out to be the real baddie, who turns out to be the real culprit behind everything. Now, the one thing, now the one game, the one thing about this game. That makes it one of my top. That makes it one of my top favorite Mega Man X games. The Lumine, the final battle music of Lumine's final form. It is just absolutely epic. And okay, I think my, I. Uh, I think my. Well, my can Well, my camera is giving me. Uh, the camera is giving me some funky signal on there, so I guess I'm probably going to have to cut this video a little short. I'm. Uh, I don't. I'm not going to be here this weekend. I'm going to. I'm going off somewhere, some scout-related thing. But as soon as I figure out. Uh, what this little flashing symbol is, and I only got one minute left on here, I will get back to recording. And hopefully over the weekend, over the Christmas holidays, I might be able to get a recorder and put some games on YouTube. But anyway, this is Ninja Hero 361, and I'll see you all another time. Sayonara.